hope everyone watching this movie just takes a minute to think about this. This franchise, The Fast and Furious, used to be about cars, street racing, and just guys in the neighborhood working on mechanic shops and beating them up. That's all it was. Now we are at the level of a spin-off movie that's ninth film in the franchise with huge celebrity names attached to it, big, bold action scenes that can never happen in real life, and to top it all off, Jason Statham's character, Shaw, killed one of the main heroes from the Fast and Furious movies, and we all hated him. But now we all love him. Hobbs and Shaw. I know it's Fast and Furious Presents, but not a single person has called that that, and I am not calling it that. I am calling it Hobbs and Shaw because that's what everyone in the world is going to call it. So Hobbs and Shaw is directed by David Leach, who who did Deadpool 2 and the the first John Wick, and I had no idea he was directing it. Like, I went in this movie, like, just I really thought Justin Lin probably did it, or someone from the Fast and Furious movies did it. But I walked out of the movie, and it's directed by da uh, David Leach, like, is that Deadpool 2 director? And guess what? It was. Because I was watching the movie, I was like, this is really good fighting scenes. It's like, like I'm enjoying this movie. So basically, this movie is, yes, it is a spinoff of the Fast and Furious movies. They took The Rock and Jason Statham, the characters in Furious, uh, was it 8 or 7 that they ended up in prison? I don't even remember. I think it was 8. Either way, that one scene of them bickering, they said, that's a movie. And I even said in the review, these two chemistry is so great, and I love the back and forth. And they were like, hey... Here's a movie of that, and that's exactly what we got. The storyline is basically, they have to stop Idris Elba because he's going to release a poison called the Snowflake to the whole world, and everyone's going to die, so they got to stop him. That's the storyline, and that is the complete 80s, 90s story ripped off from that script and put onto a 2019 movie, and it's awesome. This movie is the dumbest movie of the year, hands down, but it knows it is. It's no it knows it is not going to take itself 1,000% seriously. In some scenes, they'll try to give you some good character of them, a good romance between Rock and the girl. But this movie, it just... This is what a summer movie is. This is what it needed to be. This whole summer, can't lie, you guys, has sucked slash disappointed. There's been a few really good gems in this summer. But that's it. This summer overall has sucked. I'm just being honest with you guys. A lot of disappointments, too. But this movie, a movie that I was going and thinking... Here we go. And I walked out saying, thank you. Thank you for giving me what I've always wanted to see. And that's just The Rock being The Rock, who is awesome, and Jason Statham, who is Jason Statham. And they bicker each other, making fun of each other's ball sacks, dicks, and women. And I wanted that. All of it. And it was great. Their bickering, that five-minute scene in Furious 8 or whatever, that was great. Put that, give it two hours. That's this movie, and I, I was in, I was, I laughed out loud in one scene. There is a scene where they're on a plane and they are just going at each other, and The Rock says to him one of the funniest things I've heard all year on a movie, and I loved it. And you know what? This movie is dumb. I'll be honest, it's really dumb. If you don't like dumbness, if you don't like unbelievability, you're gonna hate this movie. But guess what? I knew going to this movie it was going to be dumb, and they knew it too, and they made it a $200 million budget of it, and it was awesome. The action scenes are really filmed really good too. The ending battle sequence, not so much, but everything else was awesome. I really was entertained and enjoyed. I mean, yes, there is the cliche butt shots, rap music playing over this movie. There is all of that combined with really good directing. I thought David Leach did an amazing job for a Fast and Furious spinoff movie. I, you gotta give him credit, because this movie could have been trash, awful, god-awful, but he made it clever, he made it funny, he actually made Statham and Dwayne Johnson have actual care development moments with Jason Statham having to deal with his sister, who played by Vanessa Kirby. Him and their relationship was really good. The Rock and dealing with family issue and his daughter hasn't met his real family. And this movie deals with that, and it does a good job. Does it really pay off toward the end? No, because there's like an extra 30 minutes of the movie where The Rock goes back to his hometown village or whatever. And I was like, we didn't need this. This was added in because The Rock is a producer. He's like, I want to show this movie. I want to show my home field. And I want to show where I came from. There's no problem with that. It just doesn't... It just... It feels so, like, shoved into the movie. It's like the movie is, like, in the city, silk living, awesome, big action scenes. And then it's just like, boom! We're going back to the 90s and throwing wood in against guns, basically. And it's like... Where did this come from? It just felt so out of field. And by the way, I can't 
forget I'm talking about this. Aegis Elba as the villain was perfect. I mean, no one could have played him. Aegis Elba is amazing. He is best supporting actor. Give it to him, because he's amazing. I'm just kidding. That's totally a lie. But he's also really... I'm not saying he's bad. I'm just saying about the Oscars. But he is just... He knows he's in a dumb movie. And he's a good actor. And he's doing a great job having fun. And Vanessa Kirby, she's really pretty in this movie. Dang, like, she was really... She's really good in The Crown. You've ever seen The Crown? And in this movie, she holds her own. She's a badass in this movie. I gotta give it up to her. She is a badass. And I really enjoyed her. I like... She was a good sister to Jason Statham. And her relationship between The Rock and this movie, they're bickering as well was just like high fives, clapping, give them the Oscar, basically. This movie, overall, was dumb. There's just so many dumb moments, and there's just so much fun moments that you just can't smile at. There's hilarious moments. There's great action scenes in this movie. Some of the CGI is really bad. The movie, the storyline are terrible, but you go with it because these characters and how fun they're having and how fun you're having at the movie theaters because the summer has been complete just bleh, and remakes and sequels. This movie is a spinoff of a movie that we really didn't need, but guess what? We got it and it's dumb, fun, enjoyable. I'm gonna give Hobbs and Shaw a B. And by the way, David Leach, I can't lie about you, man, but you got some friends because there are some cameos in this movie, guys. I don't even want to spoil any of them, but there was like at least three people showing this movie. I was like, I had no idea this person was in this movie. I was like, and I am so glad. There are like many cameos in this movie. I was like, I am so glad this actor or actress is in this movie right now. Like, perfect cameos. I loved them. Anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this review, see you guys next time. Bye-bye, guys.